Hi guys, Felix here from 4 Men's or Less. Today I'm going to be talking about my Dolce & Gabbana down quilted jacket. I got this back in 2011 and this was from Dolce & Gabbana. The reason I have to make that distinction is in North America and then Europe about a season later, they used to have two different labels that were then combined into just mainline Dolce & Gabbana. So Dolce & Gabbana was the higher end, a lot more details, more expensive, a lot cooler kind of label. And then the D&G was more casual. The, they had a runway show as well, but it wasn't at that same prestige level. So this is the more expensive, a little more detailed one. So I thought it'd be nice to show you guys kind of what old Dolce & Gabbana used to be. Because they're very plain and kind of minimal now. Uh, the first thing you notice right off the bat is how light this thing is when you put it on. And that's mainly to do with how they process the down. So the feathers are stripped off the quill. And that makes it a lot lighter while keeping a lot of the insulative properties. And then each one of those kind of stitching quilt pockets are filled individually with the down and then sealed off before moving to the next one. And that stops all the down from getting in between the stitches and potentially coming out later. So it's, it's a nice added detail that takes a little bit longer to manufacture, but it adds to the overall feel of the garment. Being one of these old Dolce & Gabbana pieces, there's a lot of nice really hardware details that you don't really get on the the latest collections the latest collections i find to be a lot more plain or they just have a huge embossed crown or bee or whatever their new thing is they're going with for the season on it the clasps at the neck are probably one of the most defining features personally i've never once used these and the reason why is they're incredibly difficult to kind of do up when they're on yourself uh, the other reason is i'm just really paranoid about having something done up like that on my neck so i don't use it but they're really cool just to have in general. The main thing with all these Dolce pieces back in the day is they all had that giant plaque on either the sleeve or the back or on the pants. Like you couldn't, it was very hard to find a pair of pants or just anything in general by then that didn't have this plaque. That pocket is functional. However, the inside of the pocket is just the outside of the jacket. So I wouldn't risk putting anything in there and potentially tearing the lining and you just have down going everywhere. The cuffs have this clasp, this clasp as well. However, I've never once used it. Once again, you're not gonna you're not gonna be using it ever. This external pocket I don't use as well. And you'll actually see when I open it up here, there's that button. Didn't even realize that was there. I've never once used it. I just did it for this video to kind of show you guys. All these denim pieces have really nice detailing as well. There's a lot of different stitching and zigzags and that kind of stuff. It adds a lot of nice detail, which I like. You don't really see this anymore on uh, the new pieces. The new pieces are a lot more plain. This has a lot of kind of extra stuff like that that you miss at first glance. And it's only upon when you kind of look at the details you really get to see it. The jacket does have two side pockets. I've never <laughs> once used them in my life. And it does have a clasp to kind of taper the body and bring it in a bit. But once again, you're never gonna use that. It's really just for show. If you want a tapered body, go take it to your tailor. Two internal pockets which are nice and they're both a zipper which I really appreciate it because you don't really want to be moving around especially in the winter and then you potentially have your phone fly out or cards or something like that. The material itself is nice. It's not Brunello Cuccinelli nice but it's sort of Montclair level. Stitching's pretty good too in between these quills. I mean I wouldn't worry about it at all. Anyways guys I hope you like this. Uh, I really really like this coat. It's, it's not the same as the Dolce stuff you see now. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot of bits and pieces that you really miss at first glance, and I'm glad I got to show it off to you guys, and hopefully you all appreciate it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.